question 9a copy and complete the table of values for y equal to 3 sin s plus 7 cos s for 0 degrees less than equal to s less than equal to 180 degrees you have the table of values with some missing values for y and of course you are expected to find them b part of the question using a scale of 2 cm to 20 degrees on the s axis and 2 cm to 2 units on the y axis draw the graph of y equal to 3 sin s plus 7 cos s over the given range of values of s. C part of the question. Using the graph, find the Roman figure 1 value of s when y is value of y when s is equal to 150 degrees value of y when s is 150 degrees roman figure 2 range of values of s for which y is greater than 0 a part of the question is to complete the table of values and to do that you need to compute two things 3 sin s and 7 cos s after which you add together so you take the first term 3 sin s this is how you do it when s is 0 degrees you shake sin 0 and that is 0 multiply it by 3 you also have 0 when s is 20 degrees you check sign 20 degrees and multiply it by 3 maintaining one decimal point and you have one decimal place and you have 1.0 then you check for sign 40 degrees times 3 you have 1.9 and so on then you come to 7 cos s you check cos 0 that is 1 times 7 you have 7 you check cos 20 degrees multiply it by 7 you have 6.6 .6 to 1 decimal place you check cos 140 degrees multiply it by 7 you have minus 5.4 you check cos 1 8 0 degrees you have minus 1 minus 1 times 7 you have minus 7 you can check for others after that you add because you are to add in the given function so if you add this you have 7.0 if you add this 7.6 if you add 7.3 if you add this 6.1 if you add this 4.2 you add this 1.8 you add this minus 0 0.9 and so on be part of the question we plot the graph so let's start with a given scale 2 cm to 20 degrees on the s axis from the from this point here already to the end of the first boss is 1 cm so the next one becomes 2 cm so you give 2 cm 20 degrees the next 2 cm becomes 40 the next is 60 and so on on the y axis 2 cm to 2 units from the origin 0 
to the end of the second bus is 2 cm you give it 2 units what it means is that 1 cm is 1 unit so if here is 1 you have 2 then 3 you have 4 but you have to write the figures the way the scale is given the scale implies that one line is 0 0.2 on 0 0.2 units on y axis and 2 degrees on s axis it is important that you know what one line stands for so that you can locate decimal values now this is what happened the 2 cm you have is 10 lines together so to get one line you divide the number of units 2 by number of lines 10 and that is 0 0.2 if you come here also you divide 20 number of units by number of lines 10 you have 2 degrees next thing is to plot after explaining the scale and all of that when s is 0 degrees y is 7 so you plot it directly on the y axis when s is 20 degrees y is 7.6 on the y axis one line is 0 0.2 so after 7 you have 7.2 the second line 7.4 the third line 7.6 somewhere here against 20 degrees when s is 40 degrees y is 3.5 now 3 point, 7.3 uh, 7.3 7.3 is between 7.2 and 7.4 the middle that is where you place 7.3 when s is 6 0 degrees y is 6.1 6.1 is between 6 and 6.2 when s is 8 0 degrees y is 4.2 that can be located easily after 4 the next line is 4.2 when s is 100 degrees y is 1.8 when s is 120 degrees y is minus 0 0.9 that is between minus 0 0.8 and minus 1 you have minus 0 0.9 there when s is 140 y is minus 3 when s is 1 60 degrees y is minus 5.6 and when s is 180 degrees y is minus 7 after this you join all the points together now all the points have been joined together always remember to include the title of the graph it is simply the relation that you are plotting so see find the value of y when s is 150 degrees you go to the s axis 150 degrees is between 140 and 160 now share very well if you decide to trace that point upward it cannot meet with the curve that means you cannot get y when you trace upward so the best option is to trace that point down you trace down to meet the curve at this point and you trace that point to the y axis notice that one line is 0 0.2 if you start counting from minus 4 you have minus 4.6 for y when s is 100 
and 50 degrees. Roman figure 2, find the range of values of S for which Y is greater than 0. The range occur at Y equal to 0. So when Y is equal to 0, it means the point where the curve cuts across the S axis. That is somewhere here. Now, look at it from, from that point, S is 114 degrees but you have y is greater than zero now if you keep going forward you have the values of y less than zero but from this point if you if you move backward you have the values of y greater than zero in this region so from this point of 114 degrees you move towards the origin zero degrees so the range is zero degrees less than equal to s less than equal to 114 degrees even from the table of values you can get this easily let us see that let's see that before we continue Okay, from the graph, we have 114 degrees, which you can obtain between 100 and 120. Now, see that if you trace it down now, values of y greater than 0 are to the left. So, you move back. So, you, so you move from 140, from 114 to this 0 degrees when you have values of y greater than zero so hence from that point on the graph 114 degrees we have to move towards the origin for you to have values of y greater than zero hence the range is zero degrees less than equal to s less than equal to 114 degrees.